Good morning, Aquarius. It is almost the weekend. I hope you guys have some lovely and wonderful 4th of July plans for Monday. Um, okay, let's get to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you are Aquarius, no Aquarius feel like being one. Well, I am glad you're here. Naked and all, Aquarius. You could be in a towel or in a three-piece suit. It is fine with me. Let's, what's the general messages for the Aquarians? What needs do come out? Now, this could have happened to you, happening to you, or happened to you in the past. It could even be happening to someone you know. Keep an open mind. Okay, Aquarius. Okay. What is the general energy? Ooh, what was that? I'm too nosy not to look. Eight of Wands. Lots of energy, lots of passion, lots of love darts. What's going on, Aquarius? What's going on? I'm feeling so lovey with you guys. And so talkative, like in a good mood. General energy, general energy. What is the collective energy for the Aquarians? The Queen of Pentacles reversed. I love that card. Let's see, what's influencing the Queen of Pentacles reversed? What's influencing it? What's influencing it? The Ten of Swords. <gasps> Oh, one of these storylines. Okay, maybe it'll get better. It's just you done with a selfish person. Uh, you know, because at first, the Queen of Pentacles reverse, it could be, and with it being Ten of Swords, the, I feel like this person brought on. And for that person to bring on, this is just a person who thinks of themselves. Not like an evil queen, you know, but it's just someone who thinks of themselves and maybe you're just tired of doing 90% and getting back 10 Okay, what is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it? I thought it was going to be a love reading, Aquarius. I was feeling it. I guess not. I was feeling wrong. Okay, what is it? What's the, why are we all here today? What is it? The Magician Reverse. You know what, this person, if this is a family member, which was a very popular storyline yesterday, and I was hoping we'd get a new storyline, but it feels it feels family. This, this person strips your power, or they at least attempt to strip your power. And I think you're just fed up. It's one of those things like where anything you wanna do, they kind of like, I wanna say poo-poo the idea, which I hate that word poo-poo, and I never use that. I don't even know why I had to say it. But that's how they, you know, and it's, it, you know what this also reminds me of? You are not allowed to have anything until they have it. Because if you say, I'm going to have that new iPhone 12 and they will talk all kinds of shit about it, but they can have it. And once they have it, then you're now allowed to have it. You know, that's what I'm getting with that person. And the magician reverse is just, they constantly try to take all the power from you. What is like personal power. What's in the past, Aquarius? What's in the past? The Ten of Wands reversed. That's, it. yeah, that's not being, no, that's letting the burden go. But I, I want to say that wasn't a letting the burden go, which is strange. We'll clarify. Ten of Wands reversed is letting the burden go. And maybe the past position happened hours before. It doesn't mean it had to happen months before. So maybe it was dropping the burden because you were just fed up. That could be too. Ten of Swords, you're just so fed up. We have two tens, and tens mean completion, finalization. You're ready to close this chapter to start something new. This was a horrible chapter. I, I, it is. It feels icky. What's on your mind, Aquarius? What is on that King of Swords mind of yours? What is it? What is it? The Three of Cups reverse. This feels so friendship. Now this, take it as it resonates. This could You could be watching this and saying, oh yeah, I was dealing with that, that guy or girl. But this, this feels friendship. You know why? Three of Cups. These are backstabbers. These are people who talk behind your back. These are people, I mean, the thing is, is you really thought you were friends until you find something out. And the magician reverse, it just feels like it's either family or friends or coworkers that just talk behind your back and you're just fed up. You are, you're just done with the circle of, the circle of hate. You know what I mean? The circle of hate. Okay, what's in the near future, Aquarius? What's in the near future? What is in the near future? What is it? The chariot. You, my dear, are getting on your snail and getting out of there. Yes, you might be going 0.25 miles per hour, but you're still moving forward. Ooh, my ear was ringing as soon as I said that. Cancer. It's just, it's, it's moving forward. And the chariot is 
unpredictable, exciting, you don't know where you're going. That's the traditional card. On this is no matter how long it takes, you're, you're just getting out of there. Some of you, it has been a slow process getting out of here too. Because I feel like you just gave a chance after chance. If this was a friendship, um, I mean, it really, it could be so many different things for each of you. What's, how do you see yourselves right now? How do Aquarians see themselves? The eight, there it is, but it's reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. Feeling blocked. Now, I always have to look what's next to it. The Magician reversed. I feel you, I don't feel like you're blocked from moving forward. I feel like you're blocking this person. How you see yourself is blocking this person because they take, they just try to take from you. They take your power away. They take your happiness away. And you, it's almost like you are adopting their bad karma. And, and I don't, maybe this is for one of you out there, but it seems like maybe bad things have only happened to you being around this group. And it could be a group, I said that, it could be coworkers. But it seems like since you've been connected to these people, it's like only bad shit has happened to you. Okay, what's the energy coming in to influence this? What's the energy coming in to influence this for Aquarius? The f I love this. Four of Pentacles reverse. Release. Letting it go. You're moving forward and releasing this and blocking it. It's great. What's in your emotions? What's in your emotions? I just saw the page of swords on my mind finding something out. But what's in your emotions? What's in your emotions? Oops. What is in your emotions? The Three of Pentacles. Building. And you know, you're going to build with some birds that have your back. Like, look at her. She's like, are you my friend? Can I count on you? It's just building elsewhere. And I, yeah, it's, the, and it's right next. I mean, tarot should always tell a clear story. Yes, we have this whole spread, but each row should show a progression. You drop these people and you're going somewhere else. This could also getting a new group of friends. As you leave this, you're going to be, I feel like it's changed you in a way where you realize you, maybe you were one of these mean girls at some point and you just don't want to be that anymore. And you are going to go to a whole new, new type of tribe, new type of thing and build elsewhere. But you definitely are releasing this. It, it's just because it's, they, just, they just make you feel bad about yourself. What is the, um, what's the outcome here? What is the outcome for Aquarius? What is it? The Ten of Pentacles. Reverse. Virgo. We will, we shall see. Now I said this was friend. No, it could still be family. Ten of Pentacles talks about family legacies. It, it just, Pentacles is definitely money, but it's also legacies, energy, ties that bind, you know, and it's releasing it. So some of you, this is definitely family that you're letting go of because you ask here. I mean, the silent question is, is energy coming in is, well, Stacy, what am I releasing? Outcome, Ten of Pentacles reverse. It feels like a lot of family traditions, families that don't have your back. Okay. And bottom of the deck, by the way, is the Three of Wands reverse. Turning your back on it. Okay. Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Swords for Aquarius. Tell me about this. What is the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Swords? What is this Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Swords? Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Swords for Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Swords. This could be mother. This could be mother-in-law. These could be in-laws. It, a Queen of Pentacles is definitely motherly. But she's reversed and she's not acting like it. What's this Queen of Pentacles reverse and Ten of Swords? Knight of Swords. You got clear of what you have to do and you're doing it. Lots of clear thinking, a lots of fast movement. Give me another card on that. I feel like that's on the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Swords reverse. This, this is just a dishonest connection. There's nothing here. There's no... And this is also finding out the truth and it wasn't good. You know, that the people are disloyal, liars, talk behind your back. And Aces, I always have to say this. If you ever have a silent question and you're like, is this my reading? Or no, not this is my reading. <laughs> if you're watching this this far, you probably are resonating at some point. But the Ace of Swords reversed. Um, it's, it's a no. If you have a question, it's a no. 
Ace, aces reverse or no's, aces upright or yeses. What is the magician reverse? The reason for the reading? Eight of Pentacles. You know, before I pulled this card, I felt this is when I asked that question, it's I feel like it's Aquarius no longer working on this. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. No longer, yeah. I just I feel like these people block your money. They block your potential. They block your personal power of what you can do. And without them, it's just like you are better. You can, without this baggage, you need to get in that full energy and drop all this luggage, which is them, and take one bag, which is yourself, and just, just go for a new beginning somewhere. But yeah, so you can build elsewhere. Eight of Pentacles and your emotions is a three of Pentacles. So you can build elsewhere. What is this Ten of Wands reverse in the past for Aquarius? What is the Ten of Wands reverse in the past? What is it? The Knight of Cups reverse. Oh, now the Knight of Cups reverse is your traditional inappropriate lover card. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's an inappropriate lover. This could be somebody already married, somebody already connected. This could be, the, um, now I'm just giving you examples in love and then we can move to friendships but with it's somebody who who just you really thought they were going to be there for you because they wooed you they said all the right things they made you feel really good but but you know what the knight of cups reverse does they take it back so it, it kind of it's very it's very manipulative yes but it's mean spirited because it once they get you hooked they take that right back and then it creates that love chase relationship when they never had they it was an illusion nine of cups reverse is an illusion in love they never were going to be there for you and if this is love this is you laying this down and what you thought could grow and was beautiful and had so much potential guys you weren't growing a garden of flowers you with this person are growing a garden of weeds now that's with love with family this is people who don't show up for you these are people who will call you at 3 a.m when they need something and you most likely show up for them that which is why they call you but if you need to call them at 3 p.m and say hey can you watch my kids can you take me somewhere they're just like you are so selfish you know i'm watching general hospital you know that kind of thing Nine of Cups reverse, Ten of Wands. You're just dropping the, the baggage. You're dropping the baggage, Aquarius. Okay, what is this Three of Cups reverse on your mind? Now, if this is love, it's, it's very hard to ignore what you found out, this Ace of Swords reverse, that this person's a player. Nine of Cups reverse and the Three of Cups reverse, the Magician reverse. They're just not a player. They're a, a player to the nth degree with the Magician reverse. They are a master manipulator. They only do this to get the attention from others, to get whatever they can get, and then, the, then they're off. And you pulled yourself out of there. What is this Three of Cups reverse on your mind? What's the Three of Cups reverse on your mind? Yeah, four, four of Wands reverse. I am getting two storylines so strong, so take it as it resonates. I feel like somebody, this could have been a marriage that you found out your spouse was messing around or a long-term partner or somebody you wanted to be a long-term partner. Three of Cups reverse, Four of Wands reverse. You had no choice. You had, you know, you have too much self-esteem. You're a king of swords, my God. You, you got clarity on the situation and got out of there. For, it could also be family. Four of Wands reverses any kind of foundations with the Ten of Pentacles reverse, and typically these would be next to each other. Ten of Pentacles reverse, Four of Wands reverse is family legacies that you're you have to leave behind because they just, you know, especially I feel like maybe Aquarius. I, I don't know why some of you are might be the youngest kids in your family. Because I was going to say that, but it really doesn't matter. It's just where they're they're used to telling you what to do, how to live. And if, God forbid, if you stand up for yourself, then they're going to be very defensive, obnoxious, and make your life as, as a living hell. What's this chariot in the near future for Aquarius? What's the chariot in the near future? The hermit reverse. You see, you saw something, you analyze this. You, I feel like with these people, you're used to keeping your mouth shut. You're used to not saying anything because they're just waiting for it. They're waiting to, to, to poke you. They're waiting to try to get you going. And so you are used to being quiet and the hermit kind of pulls himself away and just watches the situation. But reverse is you're no longer watching. You're moving forward. You're coming out of that isolation and you're getting out of there. What is this eight of wands reverse, how you see yourself? Tell me about the eight of wands reverse, how Aquarius sees themselves. 
you know, before I pull a card is with the eight of wands and I notice when it's upright, she's flying high into the clouds. She's following her dreams. She's following her soul. She's following her passion. Reverse, these people held you back. You, you couldn't, you can't fly when you have 50 pounds of cement blocks around your ankles. They weighted you down. And you, I think with that hermit reverse is what you realize. And you're just going into the unknown and it's exciting, but you're going, I feel like you're going alone and with as little baggage as possible. What's this eight of wands reverse? How Aquarius sees themselves. What's this eight of wands reverse? Yeah, the world reverse. They've been holding you back. I just said that. This has been on the table for a long time in Ada, in a, a world, the, but you chose to hold yourself back out of maybe out of loyalty, out of fear, out of whatever it is, but you're not anymore. What is this Four of Pentacles reverse for Aquarius, the energy coming in? It's, a, it's interesting, this Four of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Wands reverse talk about homes. And here she's locking down a home. This is, and I never see this on this card, but, but today this person seems like a tyrant and they have their home so locked down. There's like, there's no joy here. Joy scheduled for 2024 only. And you know, and this is where I feel like you're leaving it. That's why it's released energy coming in. Okay. What is this four of pentacles reverse for Aquarius? Yeah. Judgment reverse again, judgment reverse and world reverse are similar. It's, it's seeing a situation for what it is, but you're choosing not to do anything about it. And I feel like, why? Because you feel like your per, your personal power was has been taken away. And it's not, if you were dealing with one person, it would be different. But I feel like this is multiple people and it's very, very hard to fight that many people. You would have to have a lot of resources just to disappear. You know, and I'm not saying like witness protection program, but these people have a hold on you somehow and but you're gonna find a way maybe you're gonna have like with this three of pentacles um in your emotions maybe you are reaching out to friends that are that are actually in your inner circle you know because even though this is reverse on your mind it's trying to find people who you can trust with the three three of cups because i feel like over here the, it should be here even though I only have one card in the deck for this, I feel like that three of cups, and maybe when we clarify, it'll pop up. But I feel like you're searching for people you can trust at this time that can help you out. What is this three of pentacles in your emotions? What's this three of pentacles in your emotions? What is it? Ooh, the ten of pentacles upright. Yes, you are searching for your tribe and what makes you happy and what's going to bring in this. This is a whole new family tree. It's like you're leaving one family tree behind and you're breaking off your branch and you're going to go plant it like a thousand miles away. That's what that feels like. Three of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. And you're changing the story. You're changing, you're breaking, you're breaking, it's like you're breaking, oh, I don't want to say a family curse because that sounds very, I feel like what is going on here goes from generation to generation and the way they kind of eat their young. And here you're just like, you want to change the story. What is the Ten of Pentacles reverse on the outcome? What's the Ten of Pentacles reverse? What's the Ten of Pentacles reverse in the outcome? Oops. What is this Ten of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Two of Swords. Libra energy. Two of Swords is the here and now. But it's, it's really being happy. It's being happy you know what I feel on this with the Ten of Pentacles reverse? I almost feel like it goes back here. No matter how, no matter how awful things were or how awful these people were to you, you always try to find the joy. And for some of you, that was the problem. If you always wondered if this is family and if you wonder why are they always after me when those two can get along or those two can get along and you know, why, why are, why do I have to feel like I have to walk on eggshells or hide things that, that are good that I'm doing? Because it's, it's because you, you know, if you're not like them, I think they try to break you. I think you're just different. And I, they've always seen that you're different. I think you have a really good heart, a protected heart, you know, that they can't touch. No matter what kind of shit they threw at you, it didn't break you down. And that drove them crazy. So then they try harder and harder and harder. 
it's there's nothing wrong with you there's absolutely nothing wrong with you is the fact that you have this light inner light that they can't extinguish you know what I mean so they try really really hard these people live on on chaos and your fuel is love and I know that might sound cheesy but with the two of swords is you're happy with yourself these people aren't happy with themselves which is why it's this ten of pentacles reverse it's like this this old man sitting this old man is sitting on a tree trunk and it shows generational wealth generational values it's reversed because this tree is rotten it's it's rotten and which is why your three in your emotions is a three of pentacles and a ten of pentacles you you realize this tree has to go and you're going to go take your stick and plant an oak tree somewhere else for it to grow for your generations give me another card in this ten of pentacles reverse and two of swords that's another card ten of pentacles reverse and two of swords yeah two of wands if you, to, this card is always intriguing because he he stands there and he has one hand on an ace of wands pretty much so he knows what he wants to do he knows what he has to do he holds the world which shows he's holding the world which shows he has the knowledge and the capabilities you my dear are the magician the reason for the reading this was reversed but you you do have all all elements you have everything you need to create a very exciting abundant life you just you just they didn't want you to see that and you kind of may have been waiting for the right time to leave for the right for the person to come along to take you away from this but you but he has a hand on the ace of wands which means you you have the power to go at any time it feels very eight of swords where you keep yourself because you're waiting for if you're waiting for someone I think this is a life lesson about you taking control of your own life become an emperor here and just take that take you know you just got to take control here and, and break away give me another card on this ten of pentacles reversed and the queen of swords libra again this is taking control this is cutting out who doesn't belong uh, anybody outside that circle of your inner circle you need to cut that out you need to cut that out it was reversed and she, she erects strong boundaries. This is a person who, who can be scary. They are very fair. They're very, very honest. The, the queen of swords is the, is, it's Libra and Libra's justice. And she's all about a balance, balance, karmic balance. And I feel like it's over. You balanced your karma. I think being born into this, you have to take the lesson to say, I really feel like this is for an Aquarius that needs to take the world by their hand you have the world in your hand now now go and do something with it you can't wait on someone to save you here that's what this is about and yeah it just like what was i going with that before that remember when i said with with the the ten of pentacles reverse it's like a rotten tree and you're going to take that stick from a family tree and plant it elsewhere take that stick he's holding it and go plant elsewhere somewhere where people can respect you for who you are you don't have to be anybody other than who you are because who you are is just fine the, the, it's them that's the problem yeah chariot again and the wheel of fortune reverse and the five of wands holy cow and it keeps going i feel like no yeah it is reversed the, this card is always hard to tell if it's reversed or not but the wheel of, i feel like here the five of wands and the wheel of fortune you have been in the same cycle for years of fighting family drama wheel of fortune reverse talks about repeating the same fa familiar lessons over and over and over well now you're getting off the wheel you're jumping on your snail and you're going into the unknown you're you're just charting new ter territories it's pretty awesome aquarius okay guys that is what i have for you this week i hope you guys have a lovely week and weekend and i'll see you next week guys take care